Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about um, essential things that you need for a newborn um, and things that you should pack in the hospital bag. So let's start off with the hospital bag. Um, I didn't pack a hospital bag for myself. Uh, you would think I would have because I had so much time. Kenza came on time. She came on her, well, the day after her due date. So, but I wasn't even thinking about myself. I just made sure that her hospital bag was packed. Um, so in her hospital bag, I had two outfits. I had a newborn outfit and a zero to three month outfit because I really wasn't sure like what was gonna fit. Um, and I had like a little blanket to throw over her. That was pretty much it. But um, yeah, the hospital provides like diapers and like the wipes and all that stuff while you're there. And they even sent me home with like the rest of the the diapers in the bag so i didn't really need much for her uh for myself since i didn't pack a bag i can let you guys know what i should have packed and what dewan kind of brought me the next day that i was in the hospital but uh he brought a comfy outfit so i did buy an outfit i just didn't have it packed um but i bought like a very loose black dress from target um, if I find it, the link is going to be in the description. Um, very loose, very comfy because you're big and you're going to be caring for your child. So you don't really care what you look like. You just want to be comfortable. Um, comfy shoes. So I had really swollen feet. So I had Crocs, which were very comfortable. Um, and then, you know, things to wash up with your body wash if you care to wash your hair, shampoo and conditioner, because everything the hospital gives you is unscented. Um, I don't know if I said toothbrush, toothpaste, a brush, uh, and like an outfit to go home in because I wasn't going to go home in my dress. I just put a sweatsuit on. Um, I gave birth in August, so it was hot. But since I was so big, it was just like, oh, sweatsuit just was perfect. And it was just to get in the car and go home. Um essentials for newborn so let's start off with a diaper bag so this is kenza's diaper bag or you know bag that i go everywhere with um i know that we want cute bags but this is like so smart because something you could just throw on your bag on your back is very useful because you have to carry your baby and it's just easier um it's black, so when he she goes out with dad, it's not like he has to carry around a pink bag. Um, so in her diaper bag, we have diapers, wipes, formula, A and D ointment, like a little travel size. Let's see if I can show you guys, which is very essential. Um, she has like the little first aid, like not first aid, but it has like the brush, the nail clipper, the nose suction thing. The bag comes with one of these. If your bag doesn't, it's very important you get one of these so when you change the baby, um, they're not laying on anything, even though it's kind of common sense not to lay the baby on stuff. She does have, this is still in here. It's her hospital records and like everything that happened in the hospital is still in here. This was because I, Kenza had to go to the doctors like two or three times, like her first week home. Um, for many reasons so it was just useful to have everything in this one spot um so essential things that you should have for your newborn um this i guess can help when you're making your registry because when i made my registry i just added everything that i thought i needed like all the cute stuff and one of my friends was very helpful she was just telling me like the things that because she, she had a baby and like a year before i did and she was telling me excuse me, all the things that you really need and not to put the extra stuff because you don't want someone to get you the extra stuff and not the essential things. So diapers, obviously you need. Um, on my registry, I put all sizes. Um, I think she only used one box of newborns because they grow out of that very fast. Um, so ones, twos, and threes, I think I mainly put up there because obviously fours and fives it's like she's not even in a four now she's eight months so 
that is like not needed but if you have i mean you know people are buying it for you then that's great because then you don't ever have to buy diapers i don't think i've had to buy diapers for kenza yet and she's eight months old because of christmas and baby showers she's gotten so many things um i put wipes thankfully i put this these huggies um the sensitive natural care ones because this is what I started her off with and this is what we kept using up until a month ago because of quarantine all of the huggy diapers ran out so I had to buy parent choice and it completely broke Kenza out like the worst rash I've ever seen um A and D and Desitin did not even help I had to the doctor had to prescribe or something so we stick with huggies now um the first month, I feel like you don't take the baby anywhere unless it's to the doctor's. So depending on the weather and like the weather temperature in your house, that's kind of how you'll dress the baby. So I think a lot of onesies, um, like the footsie pajamas, they stay in all day. Um, like I said, she was born in August and like it's still warm in September. So she was in like onesies all day. Um, receiving blankets are essential um i got like a thousand of them though so they're not that essential um but you want something to put on somebody when they want to hold the baby hand sanitizer or like just hand soap in a bathroom which obviously if you're in a house that's what you have you like when someone comes to see the baby uh wash your hands wash your face like you know you don't want any germs around the baby um socks the little hand gloves i don't know what they're called like mittens so they don't scratch their face i use those with kenza a lot because she would scratch her face so bad um bibs birth oh these oh, that's a shoe. these like a birth cloth like saved my life I had I have like five of them but Kenzo would spit up so much and it was just very useful to have that um pajamas I think that a lot of people just want to buy you cute outfits and that's so nice but my child has to sleep in something so I think pajamas are very essential um bottles if you are even if you're breastfeeding I mean I pumped and I would freeze the milk so that when she was with dad he could feed her when he was my mom had her she can be fed um and then she started formula around like three four months so bottles obviously to drink um a bottle cleaner i'm like looking in my kitchen to see what i have for kenza um if you're doing formula you need to have her water or his water um they have special water for babies what else if Kenza didn't sleep in a crib until she was like four months, but if you do have a crib, well, a crib is essential somewhere for the baby to sleep. Um, I I guess I'm going to say it's essential, but my Kenza slept with me in my bed, so bedding wasn't very essential for her. But somewhere the baby can sleep if you're not going to co-sleep with the baby. Um, I'm not saying to co-sleep with your child because your doctor will probably find me and kick me out because my doctor cursed me out, but I just felt very comfortable with Kenza in the bed with me, so that's just what it was. Um, but her sleeping in a crib now is also amazing because I can sleep comfortably knowing that she's safe in her crib. Um, car seat, this is very important. So you need to have a car seat that you can take off, take into the hospital and put the baby in. Um, your car seat, I'm pretty sure people use new car seats. I didn't. I bought a used one and it passed the inspection in the hospital, but they look for everything. Like there's an expiration date on car seats that I had no idea and the nurse showed me. Um, so you want to make sure that your car seat is not expired. Um, you cannot use car seats. I mean, not that they would know, but just advice. You can use a car seat that's been in a car accident you actually this is what the nurse told me if you get into a car accident with your car seat you can write it to the insurance and they will pay for a new one because once a car seat has been in a car accident it's like ineffective 
which I don't know why, but that's um, my advice or my tip or a fun fact that I know. Um, I'm trying to think what else. So, oh, uh, ointments. So I use A and D. Um, this says prevent, which means it's preventing a diaper rash. So every time I change her, I put a little bit of this on um, or desitin. Um, but the desitin is white and I don't like how like messy it gets. So I use A and D because it goes off clear, but they're both amazing and very useful. Um, somewhere to wash the baby up in. Kenta had like this, she still has it. It's somewhere in here. She doesn't use it anymore, but it's like a big tub and it had like a slink. So when she was a baby, she can go in the slink. Um, and we would put it in the sink in the kitchen at my parents' house because their sink is huge. But then eventually I just started washing her up in the bathtub, in her tub still, but in the bathtub. And I don't know how old she was when she stopped using the slink. Maybe four months. Kenzo was like very advanced. Like at three months, she was already sitting up by herself. So the tub was like set up so that she can like sit by herself, but it was still kind of like slanted. Um, and then like a month ago, I don't even think it was that long ago. No, it was like two weeks ago. I took her out of it and she's been taking a bath just in the straight tub. But somewhere to wash them up, something to like the soap. We use um, Aveeno lavender just because of like sensitive skin. Um, so body wash, you need washcloths to wash them up with. Um, her body wash came with lotion, so we used the Aveeno lavender lotion, but I also use Baby Ganics. Shout out to my cousin, Isa, for giving it to her. It's amazing. Or I use the Shea Moisture Baby Oil, which is also so good on their skin. Um, what else? A baby monitor, I think, is very important and it's so useful because you don't have to sit there. I mean, I used to sit there and watch Kenza breathe while she was sleeping. Um, so the baby monitor helped me, like, you know, you can still kind of see their stomach moving. You don't have to sit there and watch them. You can do other things. Um, she sleeps next to me, so I don't use the baby monitor at night. But if, like, right now she's taking a nap, so, like, she's taking a nap with her dad. So she, I don't need the monitor, but... If she was in there alone, like, I can use the monitor, even though I can hear her from here if she gets up. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That's essential. I think I put pacifiers on my registry, but the hospital, yeah, I had to because I got some. But the, the hospital gives the baby a passy, and Kenza used that one up in, for a while. And then I opened the pack that I got. And now she has like a hundred pacifiers. I'm lying. She doesn't have that many. But she has a bunch. And she only uses one because I put it on that thing that clips onto her. Now, I didn't use it when she was little. I was too scared. But now I feel like she's old enough. And I don't think anything's going to happen to her. But um, I clip it onto her so that I don't lose it. Mmm. And I think that's it. That's essential. I hope I didn't miss anything. But what I am going to do is write a list in the description. And I'm going to put links to where you can get these things. Um, probably Target and Amazon. It's really where I'm going to focus on. But if you guys are still watching my video, shout out to you. Um, comment down below. Baby, if you're still watching this. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what else you guys want to see, what else you guys want me to do, any questions. Um, and thank you.